Hi there, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, in this short video, I'm going to go over question 39 of the practice exam. This is a recursion question. A little tricky. Um, so we're asked to say what a call to this method recur with 27 would return. So uh, our stopping condition is n is less than or equal to 10, and then in that case we return n times 2. Else, we return uh, whatever we get from a recursive call to recur. And uh, with uh, what we're passing in to, as the parameter when we call recur is not 27, but a call, whatever we get from a call to recur uh, with dividing n, which starts out as 27, by 3, right? So whatever that is, that gets passed into the next recall, into the recursive call of recur, right? And then whatever it gets back from that, it eventually will return all the way back to here, right? The, the call to here, to the recur 27 call. Okay, so what happens here? So here's our first recursive call. Uh, it has this parameter which we need to figure out before we decide what to do. And uh, before we make the recursive call. And uh, so we, um, we evaluate that 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that's the input to this um, sub call of recursion, the parameter call of recursion. And that 9 is less than or equal to 10, so it's just going to return 9 times 2. So 18 gets returned, right? So the second recursive call will be with 18, right? And in this case, uh, we need to do that sub call to figure out the parameter again. So that's 18 divided by 3. 6, we return uh, 2 times 6 is 12. So this next level of the recursion will be a call with 12. That uh, level of the recursion, it makes the call, right? So this down here, we now have to figure out what, at this level, what the sub-call of recursion will return, which is 12 divided by 3, which is 4. That returns 8, right? And so the, it <clears throat> when this one is called, when this version of recursion is called, we will be, we will have hit the stopping condition, right? So it will return, uh, it will return 16. And uh, then it, that in turn gets returned up to the previous, next previous version of the recursion as the whole thing unwinds. That now has its answer right? Uh, and, and it returns 16 up to the previous version, and the 16 then is output to here. Uh, and it is, in fact, 16, the answer. Okay, so drawing these little trees uh, can be helpful, right? This one is a little bit tricky because you sort of have to have this subtree that goes off um, as you evaluate what the parameter is for the recursive call. Uh, and, uh, you know, they were nice enough to set it up so that these always uh, immediately evaluate on the first call. They don't, there's no recursive call within these, right? If there were, you'd have to have a, another, like, subtree for each of these. And, you know, this is, that would be evil on a, on a test. Okay, so hope that helps. Um, you know, as you're taking the test, don't hesitate to make little charts like this um, to uh, to help keep track of, of like these recursive calls because they can, you know, some people can do it in their heads. Um, I can't. Uh, and if you can't, then learn to use uh, the paper as your scratch area. Okay, thanks.